Welcome to my channel, Brandy's Budget Adventures. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, that opening clip was me yesterday before going to work. I had a few hours, about five hours to just chill because the area that I'm working in is like 30 minutes from my, where I stay. I mean, I stay at Walmart and other places, but in Orlando. So this is like Winter Garden, but it's closer to Disney. So it's like 30 minutes away and I... I ain't really want to, um, I ain't even really want to go back to Orlando. So, because I get off at seven in the morning. So I went to the Walmart here, took a nap. It got hot when the sun came out. It was beaming. So I found this little park where I can go and open all my doors, get some air flowing and stuff. You know. So, the name of that park is Tibbet Butler Nature Preserve. It's in Winter Garden, Florida. I don't really know much about it. You can look it up. But from what I see, um, it was just that one little circle that I went through where you park at. And then that was that one building where it has a few buildings behind it. It's like uh, information, bathrooms, and stuff like that. And then there's a bunch of trails. So... If you in Orlando Winter Garden area and you want to check it out, you can do that. Did I write the address down? No. But it's called Tibbet Butler Nature Preserve, Winter Garden, Florida. Look it up. What's up, y'all? Let me wave to these people. Hold on. Just another day in paradise. Top flight security of the world, Craig. So I am currently at work right now. I am out doing security at Orange County National Golf Center. I'm looking at the sign and lodge. Bam. They have this live golf tournament that's coming up this weekend. And I have been doing security for pre coverage. Uh, pre coverage pretty much is them bringing their equipment in, setting up. They got a lot of stuff laying around. Um, they just want somebody out here at night, overnight. Just make sure, you know, just to deter, you know. One of the problems they're having is they got these street racers coming over here in the middle of the night doing donuts, messing up their parking lot with all them black circles. So they want the place to look nice for the event. So they just have me blocking the entrance off at 7 o'clock because they close at 7. And my car is just blocking the thing and I'm just here. Um, it has deterred a lot of people. Um, they, they come down this long street 
speeding, but then when they see it's blocked in the car, they slow down and they go the other way. But I did have one who did donuts in front of us, but they were off property, but it was like right in front of us. So basically that's all I'm doing. Just here. You know, while still daylight and people are coming, picking up their kids and leaving, I'll stand and wave goodbye and stuff. Hold on. Have a good night. Good night. But yeah, that's all I'm doing. They do have a hotel on property. A little rinky dink hotel. But um, they do have some high school kids and some college kids that are staying in. I don't know if they're here for the tournament or something. I don't know. But they were already here before I started on Monday. The problem, another problem they're having is um, kids uh, going through the property and tipping over their porta potties. Now I don't know if it's these kids that staying in the hotel that's on property, or there are some um, condos and stuff, you know, right next to the property. Where all they gotta do is just climb over the little fence. It's a little white picket fence. Anybody can climb. I can climb over it, but I ain't. But I could if I wanted to. But yeah, that's it. So when it get dark, I sit in my vehicle and I'm just sitting here. Maybe two or three times I might have to step out because somebody looks suspicious like they want to turn up in here. But when they see me open the door and get out, they normally just go the other way. So top flight security of the world, Craig. It's a cute little gig. It's uh, 12 hours, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. 20 bucks an hour. Hi. Y'all see all that stuff in the background? Let me see if I can get my finger right there. Yeah. I don't know what all that is right there. I know those are some coolers. I don't know what's under that tarp. But that's across the street. It's part of the thing, but they didn't tell me I had to watch that. I ain't run across no street. That's a public street right there. So you got cars coming in and out all times of night. I'm not running over there to say, hey, put that down. So I was specifically said, told to guard this entrance. Don't let the hoodlums in after seven. No deliveries after seven. And that's what I'm going to do. So I went to Walmart to get me some snacks for tonight, right? Minding my own business. And I saw something. <laughs> I ain't come here to spend that money. Oh, but I, I can't wait to try it out. Y'all want to see what it is? Y'all want to see what it is? Okay, hold on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Before I tell, show you, um, I've always wanted me an air fryer. But I'm cheap. I am a penny shopper at the Dollar Gentral. And normally, if it ain't a penny, I don't like to buy it. I ain't trying to spend the money. Now, if it's something that I need, I don't want to spend money on it. But if it's something that I want, I spend it. I know. I'm crazy, right? <laughs> but I saw it and I'm like, hmm, interesting. I've always wanted an air fryer. But 
I'm not sure about the wattage and stuff. And I, I only, I have a Jackery, but it's only a 240. So I know it's a lot of stuff that I can't run. I don't know if there's some small air fryers that I can run with it. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any. Wasn't really looking for none because I don't like paying air fryer costs. Goodbye. Okay, I don't like uh, paying air fryer prices. But I saw something. Y'all. Hold on. Let me say bye to these people. Good night. Child, they so bougie. I be trying to wave to these folks. It's a golf course, y'all. So you know what kind of people they are. Some of them nice. Some of them way back. But a lot of them don't. I'm like... Rude. Okay, you ready? You want to know what I got? It is a stove top air fryer did y'all know about these because i ain't know let me know in the comments air hold on let me read it to you air world crisper cooks and reheats food to crispy perfection air fries foods fast easy and healthy compact size allows for storage so it's like one that you would put on the stove Oh my gosh. And so I don't have to use my Jackery. I do have the um little bottle top, the twist top um propane things. The uh, you know the little you know the little one eye that you twist on top of the uh propane bottle. I have that and I like it. And it's gonna work with that, so I ain't gotta worry about I do want a Jackery 2000, but come on, that's over $2,000. Like, I ain't got that kind of money for that. So, but I'm excited. It's durable stainless steel and tempered glass, one touch button control, steam vents, crisper tray, temperature gauge, turbo fan. It includes one Air World crisper lid and one Air World crisper tray. Oh, okay. So it ain't the saucepan. It ain't the pan. The pan don't come with it. Now I gotta go buy a pan. This, um, wait a minute. I'm thinking the pan come. Let me finish reading the box. It's made by All Star Kitchen. Air fries food fast, easy, and healthy. Place one food on, oh, I'm sorry. Place food on crisper tray. Top with air whirl crisper and press button. Enjoy perfectly crisp foods. I was thinking I was going to use it tonight, but I can't. Because I thought it came with the pan. Yeah, I hate reading, okay? And I was just looking at the picture. I have bought... Y'all seen the little green bean air fryer stuff that's been going on TikTok and stuff? Where you air fry the string beans and they like crispy and stuff like that. I bought me some string beans, green beans, whatever you call them. And I was going to do them tonight with my stove top. Goodbye. I was going to do it with my stove top. There's a lot of people eating. Hey. Have a good night. He didn't even wave. See? Watch. He finna turn the corner.
He ain't, that one right there. He ain't even wave. Mm -hmm. Let me open the box. I'm reading is fundamental, and I keep saying that on all, oh, but I I hate doing it. Let them surprise me. Let it be a pan in here. Let it be a pan up in here. Let it be a pan up in here. Let it be a pan. Oh. Ain't no pan. Ain't no pan. It's three things in there. The top, the crisper tray, and the little button thing. So, I guess I ain't gonna have no um, string beans tonight. Nope. No string beans tonight. So, y'all stay tuned for my next video. The next video, I actually go and get me a pan and I will cook them. So, what I'm going to do tonight, I have like a saucepan, but that's not going to work on the saucepan. So, or will it? I'm just going to wait. Okay. So, I'm just going to cook my strain bangs and my saucepan tonight, eat them the regular way. And then. I'm off tomorrow, so I'll try to go get me a pan and do another video and show you how it comes out, okay? Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs>